So hey SC gang, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sky Cole and thank you very much for tuning in to yet another incredible video. So what brought me here today is that abuse is a drug. You end up normalizing it. This is the part that really got me to be here. If for those of you who does who who don't know what happened, Ukoko's Koteni came. Not even came, but she went on her stories on Instagram and apparently she posted such statements. And you know, a normal person like you and me right now would be asking themselves. So what happened to the Mutu? She claims so loudly that she used on this man. What happened to the bond that of which she, you know, mended with Umuti? You know what I mean? Kanti, wasn't the Muti supposed to be, it's a holiday, it's a hippie, you know, type of situation. And for me, it's just like, okay, cool. I understand. Firstly, I did not see this one coming. I did not see it at all coming. I thought it was all roses. But then, you know, with ro roses, they're beautiful at the top, but they are not so beautiful at the bottom. Roses are beautiful from the top, but the bottom has thorns. And thorns are not just nice to look at. They're really not nice to look at. And it's something that we are now seeing in the relationship of uh gokos kotein and i'm assuming monde shange who is uh the partner that we know you know what i mean she also spoke about the scars of which she is not gonna show she said also she she's happy that she's not showing her face because you know what i mean she needed to say this you know what i mean and obviously we had, there were rumors of her and Monge Shang, Monde Shange uh, getting a divorce. And what came to mind is, are they really getting a divorce or do they want to train? Because apparently there was a bond created through medication. You know what type of medication I'm talking about. And that medication is strong enough to keep the bond going forever. And then she also said on her podcast that that is why her and Monde can break up. You know what I mean? I hope you are listening to me. So my thing is, if it happens, if it's happening, I feel like now it is uh, questioning her credibility when it comes to using medication to solve things. Like, I understand Uri, a doctor can heal itself, but he can take uh, precautions so that, the, you know, the, the sword doesn't become as big as it is now, you know, when we are talking about Ukokos Koten. I don't know. We don't know, Pella. We don't know how far it got and what scars she's talking about. But then it worries me to see that, okay, this is a man that you bounded through medication, yet he manages to do such things. But how though? Is the question you should be asking yourself. I'm not blaming her. I'm just saying, but how though? Isn't the medication supposed to be making everything feeling like a honeymoon every single day? Maybe she will come and tell us, listen, I love Gokos Koten. She knows that I love her so much and I really... And for her and her work, you know what I mean? I also had an idea to be on her podcast and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, everything has its timing. But I feel like, you know what I mean? Uh, she had to go through it, you know? But she doesn't have to deem her light in order for her to just make everything feel like it's all roses. And the thorns are below everything because we are seeing they portray their, um, you know, chemistry as, you know, people who are just together and stuff like that. We've seen also with her ex friend, Uko Komaweni, that it is not all roses that we see on the internet through their, their reality show. You know what I mean? And I just feel like, okay, cool. It happened, but don't normalize it. Don't normalize this. If it allegedly happened, don't normalize this. Find help. 
if you feel like okay you can't leave this person because you share kids with find help talk about it you know what i mean because sometimes talking about it solves everything but deeming your light in order for you to fit in, in order for you to keep someone close to you, it does not make sense to me. And that is something that really is uh, baffling my mind. Do you know what I mean? Lack of a better term. I'm just like feeling like, okay, cool. I am so sorry that it happened to you, but do not let this, you know, uh, deem your light at all. You're an incredible woman. You're an incredible woman, and I believe he's an incredible man. I don't know when the, the abuse started. I don't know when it ended. I don't know if it really ended. I don't know what scars he has caused. I don't know what he scars he has. You know, I'm not, you know, biased about this whole situation. It might be, there's two stories to, you know, to the story. And there's the truth. You know what I mean? There's two stories and then there's the truth. For me, I don't feel like Mon Monde will come onto social media to try and explain himself. So I'm just here saying, guys, do you think she is the reason for the abuse? I'm not saying I'm blaming her, but sometimes you just see it on social media and you're just like, hmm, what if she pushes him? Because he seems like a very quiet man. And for the things that he has gone through, I'm not, listen, I'm not blaming anyone for the things that he, he has gone through and heard. It doesn't mean that medication has blurred everything or has literally made him not to even hear what she has been saying about wanting a man and, and, uh, her being him being you know tied by this medication to her and now he feels as if you know what i mean i'm stuck with this woman for the longest of time i feel like for me it really doesn't make sense it really doesn't make sense or maybe i'm i'm wrong correct me if i'm wrong it really doesn't make sense to me that someone who would highly say that i've bonded my marriage with medication and this medication has worked good to then come back and say no stop normalizing abuse abuse is a drug you end up normalizing it very very heartbreaking words to hear especially from a woman who has you know been hiding behind you know the so-called abuse been smiling to the public and saying i am happy but we don't know behind closed doors how she is really feeling how she's really treated we don't know also how he's been treated how he's really feeling because why it's all smiles on the social media but anyway let's communicate down in the comment sections below let let us talk about this whole situation do you who do you think is really the source for this abuse you know what i mean Comment, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Sky Cole, and I'll definitely see you on the next one. Stay blessed.